channel I'm in coaching center so today I'm going to explain what that is the 11th standard biology 7th chapter breathing and exchange of gases so in this in this you will learn about the respiratory system of your of our body and you will learn about the how it works the process how it works and what are the organs that helps in this uh, breathing and exchange of the gases so let's know about the basics about the basics that is breathing so as breathing you all know that is the process of exchange of O2 from the atmosphere and CO2 that is produced by our cells our respiratory system and this the breathing they may ask for one marks in your final exam next the main thing breathing after breathing the main thing is in that inspiration and expiration the two things difference uh, you uh, they may the difference is in inspiration oxygen from fresh air is taken by the lungs and in expiration the oxygen uh, that is taken it will go to every cell and then the co2 from the lungs it goes out to the atmosphere again so this is the basic difference uh, between the inspiration and expiration so this also they may ask in our final exam for one or two marks next the main thing now respiration let's come to the respiration the sum total of physical and chemical process or uh, by while exchanging or uh, while oxygen which oxygen and carbon dioxide etc are assimilated into the system and the oxidated products like carbon dioxide and water are given off so the respiration it is the process uh, in which take a simple simple understanding is respiration it is the process in where you will take the oxygen present in your atmosphere you will take the oxygen and you will give out the carbon dioxide simple you are simply you can understand and respiration also they may ask in your final exam one mark next diaphragm what is diaphragm so a muscular membranous partition separating the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity is the diaphragm so i will show you the show you the image so in this image you are seeing the lower part this lower part in the in our respiratory organ that is the lungs in that lower part in the down of that uh, lungs you can see the thing that is like a arc shape that is the diaphragm you can see so this is the diaphragm next the next concept is so the pressure contributed so by the pressure that goes from the goes to inside our body in the pressure so at what pressure the oxygen goes from atmosphere to our body it goes very much pressure force and uh, it is the by that pressure it is present as partial pressure of oxygen for carbon PO2 partial pressure of so the next uh, organ after the diaphragm so now you understand about the diaphragm so it is a muscular me membranous pa partition separated by the theoretical cavity from the abdominal cavity the image you saw the diaphragm comes uh, down the lungs and the force the pressure uh, while we breathe inside and the force in which we take or the pressure it will goes into the lungs from the out of uh, the atmosphere to the lungs the air goes next pharynx next pharynx so the tube or cavity which connects the mouth and nasal pa passages with the esophagus with esophagus the it is the pharynx so the pharynx has the three parts mainly the nasopharynx oropharynx and larino laryngo pharynx so these are the three parts and it is also called as the nasopharynx is also called as the uh, anterior part and also oropharynx is also called as the middle part and uh, larino pharynx is also called as the posterior part which contains or uh, which can, uh, continues to larynx that is continued to larynx so i will show you the pharynx where it will come so you understand from next pharynx 
so in this here you in image you can see so from here in nasal cavity that is from uh, the nose the ear comes and this the pharynx the three parts the first nasopharynx nasopharynx it enter to oropharynx after oropharynx it enters to aeropharynx from there after that i said it is connected to larynx from there it is connected to esophagus so here larynx so see here here head bone or uh, from there it is connected to larynx and from there it is connected to esophagus or it is go to our respiratory system now you understand about the three parts of the pharynx where it comes and about the explanation about the pharynx it is like a uh, ring it is like a ring shape that uh, okay, connects to from our mouth nasal passage to the esophagus it connects so this was about the pharynx so i think you understand about the diaphragm and pharynx till now next tidal volume so the volume of air during normal respiration means the respiration taking of air inside as you know the normal time the air taken inside that is the volume the how much quantity we take the air inside that is the 500 milliliter so the 500 milliliter of air that is taken inside is the tidal volume so here in this volume you will learn the four volumes or we can say as the three volume that is the tidal volume that is up around uh, 500 milliliter of the air is taken inside remember this much and next is the inspirational reserve volume it takes around 2000 to 500 milliliter to 3000 milliliter of volume the air inside and expiratory reserve volume it takes around 1100 milliliter to things how much volume of air tidal volume inspiratory volume and expiratory volume so they may ask the definition of differentiate so you can differentiate uh, this and uh, you can tell the thousand uh, and five hundred uh, two thousand five hundred uh, to three thousand and thousand hundred to two thousand two hundred milliliter of air is taken you can give the exam explanation okay next so pulmonary capacity so that is inspirational capacity ic we call it as that is tv that is tv means short form that is what tidal volume short form tv and irv one rv residual volume that is residual volume that has around thousand uh, to thousand hundred milliliter of air uh, here they are not given uh, next so this when you add one the reserve volume plus tidal volume 500 plus 1000 or 1000 to 1000 to 1000 is the milliliter volume that the residual uh, uh, it has the air it contains so if you add that both you will get the inspirator capacity i see next expiratory capacity tidal volume plus the expiratory reserve volume expiratory that uh, goes out expiratory e, uh, if you add the both then you will get the expiratory capacity and functional residual capacity here you have to add the expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume you these two you have to add then you will get the functional residual volume and vital capacity you have to add the three things that is expiratory reserve volume that is around 1100 to 1200 plus tv that is tidal volume around 500 plus inspiratory this is the all the inspiratory vital capacity residual capacity expiratory reserve total volume this all four things also you have to add to get the total lung capacity total means how much air whether it may be 1100 500 all the air will come under this because total means all the air that goes to inside our lungs next let us know about the steps how the uh, re uh, respiration takes place so first breathing or pulmonary respiration so breathing takes place first we take the oxygen from the atmosphere inside our lungs next diffusion of gases o2 and co2 across alveolar membrane so alveolar membrane the diffusion will happen the exchange the transportation of gases to the blood will happen next 
it will go to our all the blood so it will be transported to our body to the blood next diffusion of o2 and co2 between blood and tissues there will be diffusion of co2 and then the co2 will be expired or the layer left out the co2 will be given uh, to the atmosphere so this is the step so these steps they may ask to your final exam 2 to 3 marks they may ask so this was about the tidal volume diaphragm larynx uh, fa sorry pharynx and the steps this was the some topics next mechanism of breathing so first let us see the differentiation between the inspiration and expiration what is the difference or the what is inspiration and expression you learned example so inspiration now you learn about how inspiration happens now uh, there you learnt about only one word uh, one line one marks they may ask about that you learnt now let us learn about some brief how it happens so it is the pressure with the lungs is less than at inside the lungs then the compared to the outside pressure the outside pressure in the air there will be more pressure but in the lungs there will be less pressure so there will be negative pressure inside the lungs means less means negative pressure then the atmosphere has the positive pressure so the contraction of diaphragm increases to the volume of thoracic chamber so the contraction of diaphragm increases it will uh, as you know diaphragm it will be increasing its uh, contraction the contraction of external intercostal muscle lifts the rib and stream causing an increase in the volume so it will lift the lift uh, uh, ribs uh, there will be lift in the uh, they will raise the ribs uh, the diaphragm and it causes an increase in pulmonary volume decreases so it causes an increase and the pulmonary volume and the decrease in the intrapulmonary volume pressure to less than the atmosphere pressure there will be less in the pulmonary volume pressure there will be less than the compared to the pressure in the atmosphere and it forces the air outside to move into the lungs so then the air is so it uh, the force then the uh, from the air means from our atmosphere the lungs uh, from our atmosphere the oxygen enters to our lungs so this is the process how the inspiration happens so from the as there will be pressure outside more there will be less pressure inside so the diaphragm will be contract and therefore the ribs will become the big and therefore the outside air rushes towards the inside so this is much complex its expiration so it increases the interpulmonary pressure slightly above the atmosphere pressure so interpulmonary pressure so the pressure inside the lungs is increased at the expiration so it is causes the lungs to put the uh, carbon dioxide outside so this is the expiration and inspiration so now so the pair to external nostrils so respiratory tract from where how oh, step by step let us know simple so first it comes to external nostrils then nasal chamber nasal passage that is the nose next nasopharynx so pharynx as you know glottis then uh, larynx as you know from nasopharynx to larynx it will come then trachea then left uh, pulmonary uh, and right primary bronchi and secondary and tertiary bronchi and uh, then it enters to bronchialis vascularized bag like structure then after that you know that it will come uh, say, go to the blood you know steps it will go, transport to the blood and then the diffusion occurs and then the co2 is put out to the out of the lungs so this is the steps uh, you learnt there here uh, you learnt no steps involved in respiration here a respiration tax step by step you learnt next respiration organs in animals so let us know some uh, respiratory organs that are present in animals so as humans there may be respiratory organ is present in animals also but what are they called let us know some they may ask one uh, marks for uh, one marks in your final exam they may ask so general body surface so this is protozoans and leaders so gills has uh, uh, like gills fishes it has fishes as the gills and air bladder is present in bony fishes lung fishes and lungs on land vertebrates like amphibians
chips next physiology of respiration so exchange of gases so diffusion of gas takes place from region of higher partial pressure to lower so partial pressure po2 as you know po2 is the partial pressure partial pressure of oxygen po2 okay in alveolar air is 104 mm hg it is denoted next po2 in venous plate is 40 mm hg o2 diffuses from alveolar to venous plate so there, there will be decrease in the uh, po2 from alveolar to venous and pco2 will be increase from venous to alveolar so alveolar to venous there will be increase in pco2 that is partial pressure of carbon dioxide po2 is partial pressure of oxygen so this you understand po2 means pco2 means what then po2 will be having the alveolar air more and the venous air less it will be having but in the pco2 there will be venous air venous blood more and alveolar air less next transport of water by the blood so let us see the how transport of water by the blood are taken so about 10% of co2 forms caronic acid with water of plasma so hb plus 4 o2 give from lungs and tissues as hb plus o2 for this happens so hemoglobin deoxygenated hemoglobin hb deoxygenated oxy hemoglobin here you will get next transportation of co2 in blood so co2 plus ho2 carbonic and hydrous so h2 co2 co2 so carbonic acid is wet and about 20% of co2 is transported by combining the amino group of hemoglobin in rbc and 70% of co2 is transported by bicarbonate of sodium so bicarbonate of sodium here hp uh, carbonic acid ho2 H, uh, there you can transport only 20 percent uh, no more than that you can so okay this was your chapter so now let us see the questions they may ask so one marks they may ask name the organ in human respiratory system which produces sound and how many these are the questions they may ask in your exams for one marks so see the one you may glance this once and this is for one marks they may ask in your final exam and the next so by seeing now this chapter i think you understand so with that you can answer these questions i think so next this after this short uh, answer this is the short uh, answer that may they ask for two marks the respiratory blood alveolar how much is present they are asking you ask the question next three marks one the neural system regulation of respiration in human they ask and five marks they have asked uh, three question so here they have given the answer so once you can clarify uh, your answer so larynx is the sound box sound box that causes the sound so you know, once you can clarify the answer if you have any doubt whether it is correct or not so in this page you will get the answer in your textbook and here one marks question you will get the answer so okay friends i think you have understand the chapter and you may have solved the question uh, you may solve the question or you may answer the question with the understanding the chapter so okay friends this was your chapter that is the breathing and exchange of gases so here you learned about the diaphragm oxygen uh, and uh, larynx and the different types of larynx uh, sorry pharynx and uh, larynx from um, this uh, how the about uh, tv that is the topics exchange step how it uh, involved in expiration and other topics you have learnt so okay friends i think you understand this chapter so i think you have you may now answer the questions of this chapter they may ask any question so this was your chapter the breathing and exchange of gases so okay friends solve the question and i think you understand the question so in my next video i will explain the next chapter of your 11th standard that is the blood fluids and the circulation so this is also the important chapter and the main things uh, the point that you may have to remember in that chapter and they may ask in your final exam also i will explain so okay friends this was your chapter so like the my video comment on my video and subscribe my channel and question center for more video and see once again you want means you can see the question
i will show you you can pause and watch it so okay friends and here you can watch it answer so okay friends bye so take care i will see you next video till then take care have a nice day bye my dear friends